A mother's love is something beautiful to witness. It's not always loudly visible, and it's often forgotten. But if you know where to look, you'll see signs. Sometimes a mother's love is a gentle listening ear. A mother's love can be slow. It is subtle and sweet. The easy pouring of a glass of cold water, the quiet setting of a place at the table. Other times her love flows quickly, a constant stream of questions and remarks. She'll ask, where were you last night? How are you doing? What's going on? Are you wearing your helmet? Did you get your vaccine shot? Be sure you don't stay up too late. She'll try. Go for a walk outside. Be good. Sometimes a mother doesn't ask questions because maybe she doesn't want to know the answers. Mother's love is strong, after all, and she wants to hide her fears. And so the stream of questions is replaced by detailed, monotonous descriptions of her daily chores and long conversations with her friends. But even in this flood of information, there's an underlying question hidden away. It floats to the surface every once in a while. How are you? Sometimes the well runs dry and mothers don't feel love for their children. Then you wonder, can they still be called mothers? Because being a mother is tied up in this love, in everyday acts of care, in not knowing how to help, but trying to nonetheless. In the 1940s in West Virginia, one mother Irene Smith did just that. She sent her son Bill a letter every single day while he was off fighting in a war. She dreamt of him returning to her, but he did not. Here I am again. tired reading the same old stuff over and over but really honey I don't have anything new to tell it's just the same I just got dinner over. I washed today, and I got another bushel of tomatoes to can. Dad went on to help us last night. Him and Uncle Harry got a bushel of peas, so that's and another, another big job for me. To can. I kept Donna last Dad night, but he to go to the show. June went to bed early, I think, because he had to work so Monday night. So he had to get some sleep.